I mean, I don't, I don't want to say there's a right way to do adaptation in games, because I, I don't believe that. But I do believe that um, one of the things that I said in my talk is that uh, when you make a game based on a movie, you're not in the world, you're, you're, you're not in a movie, you're in the world of a movie. So you're using the, you're using the conventions and uh, formal qualities of video games to recreate the, fe the feeling of what it would be to be in that film. Now, are you just doing a scene? Are you doing like trying to somehow do the whole story? Are you saying, well, here's like uh, first act, second act, third act of the film, so we're gonna try to do a simulation for each one of those things and then string them together? I mean, I don't know. That just depends on what the technological capabilities are. Maybe in 100 years we'll be better at doing something a little bit more complicated, but I feel like one of the reasons why adaptation might feel like it sh falls short now in certain ways, um, in certain circumstances, is because, you know, I, I think we're, we might be trying to do, we're not choosing the idea from the movie that can be artistically successful at our current level of technology and then throwing all of our weight behind it. Um, I do believe that, uh, or sometimes people say, oh, but you can't do simulated characters, so I guess we can only do driving and shooting in a James Bond game. 